respiratory system in humans. In human beings, many organs take part in the process of respiration. We call them organs of respiratory system. The main organs of human respiratory system are nose, nasal passage or nasal cavity, trachea, bronchi, lungs and diaphragm. The air for respiration is drawn into our body through the nostrils present in the nose. This air then goes into nasal passage. The nasal passage is separated from the mouth cavity, buccal cavity or oral cavity by a hard bony palate so that we can breathe in air even when we are eating food and the mouth cavity is filled with food. The trachea is a tube which is commonly known as windpipe. The air coming from the nostrils during breathing passes through trachea. The trachea does not collapse even when there is no air in it because it is supported by rings of soft bones called cartilage. The upper end of trachea has a voice box called larynx. The trachea runs down the neck and divides into two smaller tubes called bronchi at its lower end. The two bronchi are connected to the two lungs. The lungs lie in the chest cavity or thoracic cavity which is separated from abdominal cavity by a muscular partition called diaphragm. The lungs are covered by two thin membranes called pleura. The lungs are enclosed in a rib cage made of bones called ribs. When we breathe in air, the diaphragm and muscles attached to the ribs contract due to which our chest cavity expands. This expansion movement of the chest increases the volume inside the chest cavity. Due to increase in volume, the air pressure decreases inside the chest cavity and air from outside being at higher pressure rushes into the lungs through the nostrils, trachea and bronchi. In this way during the process of breathing in, the air sacs or alveoli of the lungs get filled with air containing oxygen. The alveoli are surrounded by very thin blood vessels called capillaries carrying blood in them. So the oxygen of air diffuses out from the alveoli walls into the blood. The oxygen is carried by blood to all the parts of the body. This oxygen is carried by a red pigment called hemoglobin present in blood. As the blood passes through the tissues of the body, the oxygen present in it diffuses into the cells due to its higher concentration in the blood. This oxygen combines with the digested food, glucose, present in the cells to release energy. Carbon dioxide gas is produced as a waste product during respiration in the cells of the body tissues. This carbon dioxide diffuses into the blood due to its higher concentration in body tissues. Blood carries the carbon dioxide back to the lungs where it diffuses into the alveoli. When we breathe out air, the diaphragm and the muscles attached to the ribs relax due to which our chest cavity contracts and becomes smaller. This contraction movement of the chest pushes out carbon dioxide from the alveoli of the lungs into the trachea, nostrils and then out of the body into air. In this way, the process of gases exchange is completed in the human respiratory system.